I watched as the lamb broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became as dark as black cloth, and the moon became as red as blood. Then the stars of the sky fell to the earth like green figs falling from a tree shaken by a strong wind. The sky was rolled up like a scroll, and all of the mountains and islands were moved from their places. Then everyone, the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, the wealthy, the powerful, and every slave and free person all hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they cried to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to survive? When the sixth seal is broken, the sun goes dark, the moon turns blood red, and the stars fall from the sky. This heralds the beginning of the day of wrath. John describes the scene in heaven at this time. After this, I saw a vast crowd too great to count, from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands, and they were shouting with a great roar. Salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living beings, and they fell before the throne with their faces to the ground and worshipped God. They sang, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength belong to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the twenty-four elders asked me, Who are these who are clothed in white? Where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir, you are the one who knows. Then he said to me, These are the ones who died in the great tribulation. They have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb and made them white. That is why they stand in front of God's throne and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will give them shelter. They will never again be hungry or thirsty. They will never be scorched by the heat of the sun. For the Lamb on the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of life-giving water, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. Heaven is being flooded with martyrs, identifiable by their white robes. One of the 24 elders asks John if he can guess who they are, and really John should have known because he's seen them being given their white robes during the fifth seal. But John basically says, You know better than I do, you tell me. So the elder confirms, These are the ones who died in the Great Tribulation. Since they have died in the Great Tribulation, it's simple logic to deduce that they must have gone through it. Indeed, the church has been on earth for all of the seals. It's been around to witness the rise in false prophets and false religion, which is the first seal. It's been here for the increase in wars, which is the second seal. It's been here for the economic collapse, famines and natural disasters of the third seal. It's witnessed an increase in contagious diseases and death, which is the fourth seal. And a time of great persecution and martyrdom, which is the fifth seal. A time which saw many of them executed. In other words, there will be no secret rapture before any of those things takes place. The church will go through the tribulation described up until this point. Indeed, we get a sense in this passage that although the church has just been through some truly terrible times and has suffered greatly through hunger, thirst, lack of shelter, and although they have cried many tears, they're now full of relief and jubilation because it's finally over. They're in heaven now. They're safe. They will never suffer again. The feeling of joy is almost palpable. There's a buzz of excitement, an eruption of worship in heaven as they rejoice and worship God. Clearly, they are also anticipating the vengeance that God is going to pour out on their tormentors and murderers. And that day of wrath is now close. There is just one more seal to open.